This video explores fragments in Android. It's the sixth part of a seven part series. This time we use both static and dynamic fragments using a two activity model to solve the classic list view detail view problem. The objectives are listed here with a timeline for when they appear in the video. This is just a short preview of a longer video. Visit ProfessorAndroid.com for more information. So now we're going to take a look at solving this a third time using a combination of static fragments and dynamic fragments using our understanding that we've gained so far about fragments and how they behave to create perhaps the best version of this that we can. And so I think our basic approach for this is going to be that we're going to build for dual pane view and single pane view, but our dual pane view will consist from the start of dual pane view for tablets regardless of the orientation and dual pane view for a phone, smaller device, when it's in landscape view. So we're, we're going to build from that for the beginning. And when we're in dual pane view, we want our amber frag to be here, our list frag defined statically, always going to be there. And then we're going to come in for our blue frag, B, our detail frag, and we're going to dynamically create it. Static, dynamic. And this is all being done on what we refer to as activity A. Then when we're in single pane mode, which is only going to happen when we're on a phone in portrait view, we're going to have the approach of having activity A that contains fragment A. Same fragment A we discussed above. And then we're going to take the approach that when we need to see the detail view, we're going to create an activity B that contains fragment B, also dynamically created like above. So let's take a look at what's going to be involved in taking that approach. Okay, so while I was offline, I just stubbed in some of our basic functionality. I added a main fragment to activity that's going to be our activity A that will always host at least fragment A amber the list frag and in double pane mode will also host fragment B blue the detail frag. Then I've also added another class called detail fragment to activity that only comes into play when we're on single pane mode and main fragment to activity will launch detail fragment to activity when we're in single pane mode and detail fragment to activity will host fragment B blue the detail frag. And both of those I've done no other work than to other than to stub in the on create method and that's it to start with. And then of course I've gone down to the manifest file and added in both of those activities as required so we can actually call them and giving them appropriate titles that we can see when we're running the application. And that's all the work I've done so far. So let's think about what we need to do now. I need to create my layout file for my main fragment to activity. So let's come down and do that. And of course, we'll need to make three of those layout files, one for layout large, layout land, and the default layout, which is our single pane. And it's going to be very much like our static fragment single activity layout. So to start with, I'm just going to control A, control C, so I don't have to start from scratch and come into the large folder and say let's take a new Android XML file and give that the name of main underscore fragment underscore layout underscore activity and then we just want to paste that static fragment single one over the top of it because they're going to be so much near the same and again for both the layout large and layout land we want to statically define one fragment and give a point of attachment in our UI to dynamically create and attach another. And so all I'm going to do is say, well, what I really want here instead of another fragment is a frame layout to be able to attach my dynamically created fragment. Let's just call that detail underscore frag underscore hook. I'm not a fragment anymore, so that attribute goes away. This was added by my UI designer, so it could view the fragment. That can go away. And now we just have a frame layout that says, yeah, give me 70%, you take 30%, and we can use this as a hook to dynamically add the fragment. And it turns out that gives us what we want, to have fragment A statically defined and fragment B dynamically defined and have a place of attachment, and we're calling that layout large. 